Well, as we just talked about, COVID cases on the rise again across the country. Some cities reinstating mask mandates due to that uptick. The CDC says the BA2 subvariant of Omicron is estimated to make up more than 90% of COVID variants in the U.S. right now. So joining me right now for seven upfront to discuss this subvariant, Dr. Dennis Cunningham of Henry Ford Health. Uh, doctor, thank you for being here tonight. My pleasure. So tell us what Henry Ford is seeing when it comes to COVID cases in Metro Detroit on the rise. So we are seeing more positive COVID tests. We do track how many tests are positive. That number is going up. Fortunately, we're not seeing a huge increase in patients admitted to the hospital. Most of this still tends to be in the outpatient world. Okay, that could be a bit of good news. Um, what kind of symptoms would you say, doctor, that we're seeing with this strain? So Omicron and BA2 is a type of the Omicron variant. It tends to cause a lot of respiratory symptoms, coughing, a lot of body aches and fatigue. People tend not to lose their sense of smell and taste quite as much. So as we drop the mask mandates, you know, we're still hand washing. I mean, what can families do to prepare for this next wave? Well, I think it's important if you're eligible to get the vaccine, get them. The vaccine boosters are available now, and especially if you're over 50 or immunocompromised, you can get two boosters. Hand washing is always a great idea. And if you're sick, stay home. Yeah, that sounds like great advice. And, you know, we're looking now at things that we can do to prepare for that next wave. And you say up to date on vaccines. Is there still a decision being made about that second booster for the general public? So currently the recommendation is that booster doses for adults 50 and over and anyone who's immunocompromised. There's not enough data yet to say that people under 50 should get it, but many people haven't even received their first, first booster. So I'd encourage people, if you're eligible, get that first booster. And if you do have medical problems, chronic diseases, cancer, think about wearing a mask for your own safety. And doctor, if you've let some time lapse you know, between maybe your second shot, you know, in that first series and you haven't received that first booster, uh, is it okay to still go get it if you're six or seven or eight months out from your last shot? Absolutely. You don't have to restart the series. You just get the booster at your provider's office or at a pharmacy. Okay. All right. Well, Dr. Cunningham, thank you for being with us tonight. We appreciate your input. My pleasure.